I think I am heading back in towards that red obis here though. Which means a few more checkpoints like that, unfortunately. Get to keep going this way for now. But yeah, I see a couple people down there already. The little blue lights over that way. Oh, there's more than just a couple of them out that way, isn't there? Okay, I'm actually going to mark my van this time. Which I should have been doing every single time I got out of the damn thing. Oh? What was that? It's from the point of interest. There's no alien noise up that way this time. I'm hoping it's that huge UV that clipped on a rock and just pinged to space. Hmm. The ones on the road have disappeared. There's one. I doubt I'm going to be able to hit them like this, though. Okay, I need to get closer. That's him there, yeah? Yep. There we go. The other one's just disappeared. I'm not too excited about the concept of chasing him down, I'm gonna be honest. I think we're parked close enough to this uh, point of interest to just go after it. I just didn't particularly want a full patrol waiting behind me in case I make any noise. And then just get clipped on the way out. But anyway, down here I'm guessing... LDF outpost. There's a fire. Doesn't look like a campfire. Bit too big. Civilian vehicle down there. Nothing on the spectrum. I can hear a wet beeping though. Yeah, it's coming from in there. Is it a radio? Lutus. Well, that was terrible. Oh shit. That was a shotgun. What was with my aim this afternoon as well? Again, in case of uh, taking a break and then coming back to do another session and then being absolutely dreadful at the game. Always happens. Anyway, where'd the guy with the shotgun go? Oh fuck. Literally can't see him. Ah, there we go. Whew. That made me jump like crazy. Train cars are locked. I can get in the middle here. So what have we got? It's yours, 5.56. Five, five, six. I'm 6.5. I'll take some of the 6.5, but I'll have to put it in the car because I'm carrying way too much of it at the moment. Okay, what is this? It's the off-road. Yeah, it's just coming from the off-road, I think. Yeah, definitely a radio. 
That's what we got here. SMGs. Nothing actually useful, it doesn't look like. No, there's no intel. Alright, well, at least I know, right? Okay, well, that was all the points of interest, so I should head back to the, uh... Back to the objective now. I need to go back to where I was previously, get a bit of elevation. And then scan for this downed helicopter. Alright, let's get out of here, and while I remember to as well. I drop some of these half-spent mags back into the car just to free up my load a bit. And some of the ones that aren't spent anywhere, just because I'm carrying way too much stuff. Should help with my stamina a bit once I'm on foot. Alright, just about back into the town now. Since I cleared the place out, I could just pull right into the middle, I think. Picking up some drone telemetry, though. Which is not really one I want to experience right now. See where it is. That way. Oh, it's the MG. Let's just make sure this thing's dead. Okay, well now it's double broken, I think. Yeah. Okay, I'm more confident when things are double broken. Alright, so I'm heading out there. I don't want to run all that way. Not when I went to the trouble of shooting everybody in the town. Getting some more drone telemetry. I hope it's just that gun. Otherwise we've probably got a bit of an issue. Alright, I'm gonna stop here. Stick a marker on myself. See if I can find where that drone telemetry is coming from. What's that? Oh, it's the AFR. Uh, no drone telemetry around here. So we're good for now. Oh, hello. You can see all those chem lights down there. This is Rudwell. Guess I'm near the objective. Though don't know what it is yet. Over. Roger. Whatever's there, it's gotta be important. Sapphire caught sight of a UGV moving up. And you can bet your bottom fucking dollar it's not alone. End of the yeah, line. Then. See. It's way too hot to get any closer. It's a heli. Hell no. If they got a UGV, it's gonna be one of ours. A stomper. American made. That's not something we want to mess with, Jack. Over. Nah, it is when it's American made. Two words. Backdoor routine. Jam the systems and you got suspended telemetry. Get near enough while doing that and you can piggyback off a new diagnostic signal. It'll be a real weak spike, but if you transmit a go code electronically, you'll force a hard reboot. There's a good chance it'll reverse parameters set for the training and open up on everyone around it. Just not with blanks. Over. I like the sound of that. Well, yeah, that ought to create some chaos. Yeah, damn right it will. But don't forget, you gotta plug it with noise and get all the way up to it. All the way up to it. Grant. Okay, so this means finding the drone. That way. So it's out in that direction, so conveniently, nowhere near any of the guy. Oh, it's right there. Why is it all the way out here? So far, so good. It seems to be non responsive. Over. Keep it suppressed with the device. You gotta get all the way up to it. Once you're there, you can hack it. Okay, well, let's get behind it so they can't see me. Okay. Drone hack. 
Oh, so shit. is that it? It worked. Yeah, great. Run, find some cover. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Oh, it's firing full Jamil. Nice. Oh, fuck that firing it back. Is the drone out of action or are they? Nope, the drone's just fine. Oh, off it goes. Look at that little bugger. Go on, buddy, you do some work. No. Still having cracks in. There's some guys up there. Now do I help this thing out or do I just do I just let it do its thing? I think I'm just gonna let it do its thing for a while. There's reinforcements coming up from that way. They're in for a nasty fucking surprise. Look at it go. Whatever's behind there, it doesn't like it. I think I just fell off it randomly. Stipe, looks like the area's clear. That was, I don't know, effective. Over. Yeah, I can imagine. Expedite. Do something about that stomper and find out what they were doing there before any QRF turns up. Out. Okay, uh, if I'm gonna disable this thing, I probably wanna go back to noise, don't I? Just so that it doesn't, you know, turn around and put bullet in me too. Okay, never mind. Do your thing, Tron. Thought the area was supposed to be clear. And there's a guy there. Some people over the back there too. Yeah, there's tons of guys around. What are you talking about, clear? I think I see them up. I think the drone's still kind of rebooting after that little bit of jamming. Either that, or it's kind of fucked. In which case I regret trying to jam it without making sure it wasn't, you know, properly clear first. I mean, the gun's still turning. It's coming out of that tree line, I think. Yeah, right, there's a guy there, guy there. That's the one that's firing. Ah, the wheels are taken out on it. Is it out of ammo too? Yeah, it's pulling targets now. It's just not shooting. Uh, someone's shooting at me. There's one guy down. May as well help this little fella out, haven't I? And yeah, they stood right next to it and nothing's happening, so... What? Is it doing stuff now? No. It looks like it aimed right at a guy that just walked past it, but it didn't fire. That's another one down. It's funny, isn't it? Like how earlier I was completely ruining those shots against the looters right in front of me since I'd taken a break. But then I just like one tap two guys out of nowhere. Make that three. And we'll 
we've stopped firing. Is the drone still transmitting? Yeah, so the drone's still alive. Oh no, there they go again. What have we got in here? Can't access that, can't access that. Can heal myself with this thing. Okay, it's right there. In an ideal world, I'd probably spot and then shoot the people first. But I think that's some intel right there. In flight briefing. Well, I don't read. Sir like so. Good luck on that one, I guess. Alright, let's just deal with this thing now. There we go. And it had some first aid kits, I'm sure. So what now, do I just investigate the crash? Hopefully without getting spotted by whatever that MG was. So, there's a crash site, but it's not alien. One of ours? Over. No idea. I don't see any markings. It's literally a black helicopter. An orca. Could be Russian. Could be CSAT out of Belarus. Over. Happy. Can you poke around for intel? Yeah, yeah. Give me a second. Over. It's a chem light in that bush. Okay, it's nothing. It's kind of weird that it was a guy in there. Huh. There's some kind of Black small box? object here. Fuck me, running, Rudd. You want to be a little more vague? It's a weird scientific instrument. Nice. If it's that funky fresh, take it with you. No problem. All right, then let's take that. It's like a scanning device, maybe. Okay, time out. I gotta keep moving. Yo, Anything in here? Yeah, and don't call me. Seven point six two eight kills. Get your ass back here. The LDF are stepping up operations. Gonna have to relocate. Told you it was a bad place to set up camp. Ooh. I'm RTB. Out. Can I not fit this in my bag? Probably not. I'm just gonna leave it. It's not worth it. What's this though? Promen. Take that pistol. Wait, no, I won. I literally can't equip it. Alright, now what? I've got to return to base? Yeah, okay. Back to the car with me. Alright, where are we headed? Ah, oh, just back up the hill. Okay, so if I follow the main road down from here, down to that outpost I cleared out. Down there, then I can follow the dirt track back up the hill. Sounds like a plan to me. Oh. Oh shit. Um. Okay, just keep going. I wasn't even paying attention, I was trying to move first aid kits out of my inventory, but they wouldn't go. Alright, here's an outpost. Uh, wrong way. But I'd much rather drive outside of the next to that car killing fire again. Oh, you know what, I wonder if there's three sniper rifles now. There probably is, to be fair. I'm sure they'll be very happy to see that I've brought the entire Astrovan full of... Drones back up to them. Hopefully it doesn't eat my equipment too, because that'd be really annoying. I spent ages getting all this stuff. I suppose as long as I've got my tinfoil hat in my inventory, it doesn't matter too much, does it? Because you know that thing's been proven to work and everything. Hey, it's Redwell. Check your fire. I'm coming in. Over. Baker? Dill? Redwell. I'm approaching the perimeter. Respond. Over. No, oh dear. Anybody copy? Over. They've all left. Not good. 
And now there's a dentist on here. So is there going to be a bit of intel around? He's trying to get me to enter the building. There's no intel around here though that I can pick up. Simon and Ian are there. What's there? Oh, a canteen. I thought that was a helmet then. Some MXs, some ammo. So the scientists are in here. Oh. Huh. Well, that didn't seem like a trap, did it? Uh, yeah, let's maybe untie these people. Sounds Russian to me. Right. What are they saying? Shut up, Dill. I'm listening. А что насчет пиндосов? Убить их? Никак нет. Они создают хаос и это играет нам на руку. Оставьте их там. Двое других скоро вернутся в лагерь. Пора выдвигаться. Hmm. So what did they say? They were Russian, right? Yeah. At least they were speaking it. You speak Russian? They were after the device from the downed helo. One of them said it was for detecting neutrinos. The other said it was a bouncer. And the routes we've seen, they lead back to a central core. And for some reason, that's important. Oh, I got it. Of course. That bouncer? It's a neutrino. No, you guys are lagging the ball. Using it like a ground penetrating radar. If we mount it on Eddie, we can use it to map the network. The entire geophilus structure can simultaneously expel neutrinos from inside and yet reflect them on the outside. Layman's terms, yeah? Sorry, uh, neutrinos. You guys heard about the neutrino storm, didn't you? Talk sense, Doc. The day you damn Yanks got here and started dropping bombs, there was a huge surge of neutrinos hitting our planet. Neutrinos are virtually massless particles that rarely interact with matter. We thought their source was extrasolar. Turned out, they were flowing outwards, not inwards. Not from stars, but from those roots beneath our feet. They alive, Doc? Not they, it. Is it alive? Well, it's bioengineered. Part synthetic, part organic. Do any of you know what the largest living thing on Earth is? The blue whale. Good guess, but no. A clue, it's an organ. Covers four square miles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got that humongous fucking fungus there. Yes. Nearly 10,000 years old and spanning four square miles. The roots here, we believe they're part of something like that. Just older and maybe bigger. We believe it's some sort of probe, seeded on our planet by intelligent life millions of years ago. So our, our aliens, they're, they're checking up on it? Maybe, maybe not. Tell them about the spamming, Chapek. The neutrino emissions are encoded. There's an information being sent into space in all directions. The same thing over and over at a rate we can't even calculate. Traveling near the speed of light. The beings out there, they may have only received the message. Meaning what, Doc? The probe might not belong to them. The aliens aren't invading, they're collecting. Oh, are we allowed back out now? About time you showed up. Somebody tossed the can. Yeah, the Russians. They're sending people in. Spitz nuts? Probably, I don't know. Yeah, one more reason to get out of Dodge. Come on, I got us a ride that's not kaput. Let's get a move on. Yeah, me too. It's an Astrovan. It's full of drone signal equipment that I spent ages farming up. 